Have you ever wanted to sit down with musicians and pick their brains? Ask questions like, how did you get your start? What keeps you motivated to create and play? What do you do outside of music that inspires you? Or what advice do you have for aspiring musicians? If you want the answers to those questions from a plethora of musicians and other creatives, listen to the podcast Extra Musical, hosted by me, Stephen Philip Harvey. Every Monday, we sit down with a new musician to ask them these questions in an open-ended conversation, and you'd be surprised where it leads. Extra Musical airs on your preferred podcast provider. Hi, I'm Daniel Peck, and welcome to Live at the Bop Stop. Grant Heinemann first caught our attention at the Bop Stop's Open Jazz Jam Sessions. Back in Northeast Ohio, after winning awards at the Berklee College of Music, Grant very quickly worked his way into being an in-demand pianist on the scene before decamping for Los Angeles in the fall of 2023. One of the earlier episodes of our program featured him in a trio, but the addition of saxophonist Ron L. Regis takes an already talented lineup of up-and-comers from very good to great. Featuring Ron L. on saxophone, Phone, Taylor Arbogast on bass, Colin Dorian on drums, and Grant on piano and vocals, and from a March 17th, 2023 performance, it's the Grant Heinemann Quartet, live at the Bob Stop.
Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? It's St. Patrick's Day, yay! We're gonna have a party. Um, let me quickly introduce the band over there from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Colin Dorian on drums. From Mentor, Ohio-ish, Mentor area, Taylor Arbogast on bass. From Atlanta, Georgia, and a recent Kent State University graduate, over there, Ron L. Regis on alto sax. And uh, my name is Grant Heinemann. This is uh, my quartet for the evening, and I'm so grateful you decided to spend your St. Patrick's Day with us. It's going to be a great show. Uh, that first song you heard was a composition by one of my favorite pianists of all time, the great Mulgrew Miller, rest in peace. Uh, it was called Go East, Young Man. And um, we're going to follow that up with uh, another piece by one of my favorite pianists ever, Bill Evans. Also, maybe Miles Davis had something to do with the composition of this. Um, but this is a tune entitled Blue and Green. We hope you enjoy.
Thank you. Now we promised you original music, and that's what the rest of the set consists of. Um, this first original song is uh, an original by me. And uh, if you don't know me, by the way, you know, my name's Grant. Uh, I'm born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, and I went to school in Boston. So I'm really kind of a Midwest, East Coast, you know, weather and climate person. But um, Colin and I, we, we go back to, we knew each other from college, and we're in a band called Tan Line together, and our bassist lives in Montana. So we went out to Montana to record an album, and I'll never forget the first night there. You know, I, I fly in, and it's nighttime, and we're staying in an Airbnb, and I wake up the next morning and look out the window, and it's the middle of the summer, but I look, and there's this huge mountain, like probably dozens, if not hundreds of miles away, but it, like I can just see the whole thing, and it's snow-covered mountaintops, and I'm like, wow, this is not what I'm used to. Um, but it was really cool, really good experience. I guess I'd never really seen like a mountain, mountain like that before. So uh, I was just flabbergasted and I wrote, my, my buddy Cameron and I wrote this song uh, and it's, it's titled Big Sky, which is uh, the name they have for the country out there because you can apparently see for, I guess, a hundred or so miles. Um, so yeah, this song's called Big Sky. We hope you enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's the Grant Heinemann Quartet, live at the Bop Stop. Thank you, that was Big Sky. Our next tune is an original composed by Mr. Ron L. Regis over there. Um, if you were lucky enough to catch his um, sweet premiere at the Bob Stop a few weeks ago, um, this was one of the songs on that program. And um, I, would you like to introduce the song at all, or you want me to just summarize kind of what it's about? Okay. Um, well, I, as you know, from what I gathered, being an audience member in that show, it's about his uh, trip to Grenada um, and about how his family there, uh, who he hadn't seen in years, instantly treated him like he had, he had never left um, because that's what family is. It's uncompromising, unrequited, um, unconditional love. And uh, so he was very moved by that. And um, yeah, he was, on his trip, he wasn't even there for two weeks, uh, yet they still, <laughs> I'm setting up the name now. <laughs> they still, like I said, showed him that unconditional love. So this song is called Not Even Two Weeks. Thank you. 
is Not Even Two Weeks by Ronel Regis. Man, yeah, I, I felt that. I don't know about you, but I felt that. I felt the love and the passion and the energy in that. And so thank you, Ronel, for sharing that composition with us. Seriously. Yeah. Um, so this is my segue into the next song. Sometimes you write songs when you're a musician about really deep, you know, complex, sophisticated things. And sometimes you write songs about nothing. And so this next song is just a song about a sarsaparilla root, and it's called Sarsaparilla Song. And uh, yeah, that's the beauty of being a, an artist, a composer or whatever. You can do whatever you want. So this is by me, and uh, it's just called Sarsaparilla Song. Hope you enjoy.
That's Colin Dorian on drums over there. Fort Wayne's finest. All the way in from Indiana, everybody. Man, you guys are a great audience. We really appreciate you listening so intently and clapping. That's nice. I mean, you don't have to, but it's cool. And man, I just really, I want to thank you. I feel like at home in the Bob Stop, surrounded by this beautiful community. And like, I couldn't ask for a better environment to be a young musician in. So like, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I'm not done, but like, <laughs> I'm just thanking you right now because I, I might forget later. Anyway, we got one more, right? Yeah, we got one more song for you before this tiny, tiny break, and we hope you stick around because we may have a St. Patrick's Day themed surprise in the second set. So, uh, yeah, stick around, you know, buy a drink, support the children, as Brian always says. And, uh, yeah, so this last song in the set is an or another original by me. And um, it's kind of heavy. I, well, it's not that heavy, but it, it's a little m melancholy, maybe. Um, the past three years of my life, I mean, I have a lot of things to be blessed and like thankful for, but they haven't been the easiest three years. A lot of changes, a lot of scary things. Uh, yeah, a lot of just, you know, not the easiest three years. Um, and so, you know, I, being a musician and studying music, my kind of outlet for my feelings and, and I guess how my reaction to what life throws my way will be music. And um, this song was written last year when I was just going through something tough. And um, I always wondered, like, why do, good th why do bad things happen to good people? I mean, that's the universal question. Uh, and through my searching or whatnot, I kind of discovered that there really is no answer. There's no, you know, black and white response to that kind of question. Um, and, uh, you know, I was raised going to church, and so that's, that will always be a part of me. And so the title of the song is based on a, a verse from Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, which goes, I'm paraphrasing, but lean not on your own understanding, but trust in the ways of the Lord, um, because that's all you can do. So, yeah. I just have to trust that somebody up there is, you know, watching or, or something. So this song is called Lean Not. Hope you enjoy.
Taylor Arbogast on bass. Colin Dorian on drums. My name is Grant Heineman. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you once again for coming. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, and I hope to see you next time. Live at the Bop Stop is made possible by the Music Settlement, serving Northeast Ohio by offering music instruction, music therapy, and early childhood education since 1912. The Music Settlement's mission is to welcome all to our music and arts community to learn, create, inspire, and heal. This program is recorded at the Robert Conrad Studios at the Bop Stop in Cleveland, Ohio. Additional production at the Bop Stop is provided by Graham Rosen. Technical editing for the program is provided by Dr. Pete Nagley, Sean Gilbert, and Darren Thompson through Gillazar Media. The executive producer and writer is Daniel Peck, with additional consulting production on behalf of the Music Settlement by Brian Kennard. For extended versions of all of our shows, our Live at the Bop Stop podcast can be found on your favorite podcast app or visit our website at www.themusicsettlement.org and click on the Live at the Bop Stop radio show link. To reach out directly, email live at the Bop Stop at gmail.com. I'm Daniel Peck. Join me again next time, Live at the Bop Stop. Bop Stop.